just to introduce myself, so I'm, I'm David Gowans. I lead the games and esports activity for Barclays um, across our group, so across our global bank, um, where we look at strategy and how we support the games and esports industries. So obviously Barclays is a, you know, a non-endemic brand in some ways when it comes to um, the games industry, though we've got a long history of supporting people in the creative space and creative industries going back decades, particularly in the UK. Um, we also have a big tradition in sport and in engagement with our customers. And something that's always really been a passion point for Barclays and, and for me is just seeing how the industry operates to its own drumbeat and how it has been able to grow, you know, from Tim's presentation over the last 40, 50 years, it's a, a you know, it's a far cry from back when I was a kid playing with my Spectrum and Amiga, I'm gonna date myself there, um, to where the industry is now. But I think something you can absolutely take from the games industry is, it is incredibly special. It's what happens when you get a brilliant creative people that have a vision with a community and, and the same people that have deep technical knowledge. And what's actually happened over, you know, the, the growth of the industry is there has been an incredible amount of innovation that also comes from the sector. And I would advise any, any brand, any business that's operating full stop to be aware of what is happening in the games industry. It's an industry that not only, you know, has led forward with innovation that's used in other areas of business. So things like, you know, AI, uh, VR, digital payments, my, you know, uh, micro payment subscription services, um, that it, it's really grown and it, the audience is incredibly connected to this industry um, to a point where they are very, open to adopting new techniques and new innovations that the industry brings. So it's incredibly positive to see the innovation and growth within the sector. And as Tim mentioned as well, and something that we see from all of the data that Yuki provides, an incredible shorthand that I use all of the time when I'm speaking to senior leaders within industries about why the games industry is important is it speaks for itself. It is bigger than games, film, and music combined. It accounts for 52% of spend. It has a deeply engaged audience. And something that we've been working really hard to understand from an entrepreneur who's a, you know, a, a, a single person company who's looking to get into the game space and where we can support them through our Eagle Lab network and our business building programs up to medium range companies that we support through uh, you know, banking and finance services, up to huge international um, corporate organizations that you all heard of that have their own demands when it comes to IPOs, M&As, finance, um, international payment services. But the unique thing about the industry is all of those different companies up to all scales are all operating in a pool together. And it, it's great to see the friendly competition and cooperation between the industry. It, it's one of the few sectors where the, the approach of a rising tide raises all ships really does meet with how the industry operates. And it's been an absolute pleasure to be part of it and to continue to work with the industry to help solve its problems in the role that we can play as Barclays. But I think what might be a little bit more interesting to you as well, and the purpose of this topic is as a non-endemic brand in the areas that we do work with the games industry, the value that we get from the sector. So, you know, being a member of, of Yuki and supporting the organizations that are championed throughout the games industry, rightly so, that focus on diversity, representation, and moving forward in how the industry operates. It's, you know, it, it's been incredible to work with. I can see a couple of, of um, those organizations in the audience today. And we continue to work with them in the support and the work that they do. And as mentioned, the, the charities that are out there as well, been, it, we've been really lucky to work with those organizations and continuing to work with those organizations um, to support in any way we can. But what we found also in working with the industry and through 
the activity that Barclays have traditionally done in the sporting field, particularly with esports and transitioning some of our traditional sports sponsorships, like with the, the Premier League and with football and with, with other global sports, um, looking at how we can also support within the esports arena. Um, obviously, we have the Bartley Card Arena in Hamburg, the Bartley Centre in New York that have housed, you know, large esports finals. Um, but we've also been supporting and learning as we go from grassroots activities. So last year we sponsored the UK LC, uh, which is the League of Legends UK tournament, the first tournament then to be broadcast on the BBC. Um, we are also sponsoring the National Students Esports League, and we've done a number of sponsorships to really help us understand how the industry and how the esports sector are continuing to grow. And it's been incredible for us. Not only have we seen you know, engagement to a new type of audience, that two-way communication that happens, as, you know, as Tim mentioned, through Twitch and through streaming platforms, but it's also given us a really positive insight into how the leagues are working and how they're leading the way with some new ways of thinking around sport and engagement. If, you know, th this year hasn't been normal um, and it was really heartening to see in times where physical sport could not continue, um, those sports turning to um, virtual versions and, and, and games on Twitch um, to replicate the physical sport environment, obviously, you know, with the F1 and um, the virtual racing series that was happening, and also in the US with Fox um, broadcasting on with NASCAR um, within the game in that environment. And with us, what we're continuing to do, and with our sponsorship with the National Students Esports League, an incredibly tough year for students, is really to understand how those feeder systems and networks work for the next wave of talent. But also the games industry through the, the last year, it continues to show phenomenal growth. Obviously, Yuki have, have shared their data. We ourselves can see the data down to the penny of, of kind of that runs through our network for games. And it's incredible. Games as an industry was the highest growing industry in, in our spend when we analyzed our complete spend. Um, through everything that runs through the Barclays network. Um, it was te over 10% higher than the second place, which was streaming services like Netflix or Disney Plus or Amazon Prime. And what we've seen that's really interesting is because people have now invested in hardware, um, the drop-offs that you would sometimes see in other services um, when lockdown has, has been reduced, um, we are not seeing that in games. We're seeing sustained activity um, across the board uh, through you know, engagement through 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 all channels and incredibly diverse as well through you know th through the metrics that we can track. Um, so for us, it's been an incredible audience, an incredible audience, and we're continuing our journey to continue to learn all of the all of the best that the industry has. It's incredibly insightful to be able to work across the industry and see where the boundaries are being pushed, where the activity is, how engaged the audience is within the games industry and how gamers really, really care about the experience that they have through games, whether it's you know the, the experience created by games makers in a single player game or connecting with their friends in online or through games as platforms that are now growing. Um, it's it's unique to see the level of engagement that we do see as Bartley's um, within this industry. And then I think to, to kind of summarize for, for us, I, you know, I'm always happy. So I'm really happy to share or connect with anyone who wants to find out a little bit more about our journey or maybe how we can support in any area at all. Um, we're very visible. So I'll, I, what I'll do is I'll put my details there, but, um, but you can contact me um, at games at bartleys.com if you want to email or just find me on Twitter at DF Gowans um, or look at our, our site at games.bartleys or at Bartleys Games on Twitter. Uh, really happy to further any conversations. Um, so Sam, I think that 
that me. Um, happy for any questions. If there's any, or I can pick up with people um, after the session. So thank you. No, it's a terrific summary. Thank you, DG, for for that. There, there's been a couple of. I want to pick up on a couple of things you said, if that's all right. So um, a question from our audience from from Michael um, uh, says it works with brands in the creative space. And how do you so how do you advise them to get into the world of gaming and esports? I mean, let's look at it. What what are the first steps that Barclays took when you identified that games was a an area that you wanted to have a look at? What were the sort of the first steps? What's the page one stuff that you did? So for us, and, and Sam, you didn't you didn't prompt me on this one. So it was connecting with the community. Yuki has been an incredibly important part of that. Um, but really to understand if there's a place for for Barclays um where we can support we we aren't particularly about slapping our name on as a, a kind of a, spon a sponsorship or activity we really want to learn and to work as a partner same same goes for you know the, the sponsorships that you'll be familiar with so the premier league we are their finance and banking partner of that in fact we're sponsoring the e premier league um right now and for for us it's really understanding, can we help solve problems and learn? So what we found really important is to, to start with, we started with the UKLC was one of our very first um, sponsorships, but really at a level where we can understand and, and start our, our learning journey. We, we've met fantastic partners. We re you really need to become part of the community and the conversation. And I think the great thing about the games industry is the community is incredibly welcoming to people who can help them and you know and, and to, to kind of learn and what we're doing you know we're a few years in now and we're really continuing to learn as much as we possibly can and if there's an opportunity where we can support or where we can sponsor activity we we, we will try that but you know we, we really want it to be a meaningful partnership in a two-way conversation between between organizations and ourselves in what we do forward so it's get involved with sessions like this get involved you know sam you'll always point us you know and point anyone in the right direction for people to talk to and have those conversations with an open mind not with what you're looking to to kind of achieve maybe as, as first i mean there are lots of partners who can help you build that vision but just to really understand how the sector works, how it's put together, and then you know opportunities will naturally um, prop up because there's just so much incredible activity in the space. You said early on it's a deeply engaged audience. Um, uh, hopefully, we'll be covering that off in the next talk so we can hear about how that engagement works. But I think you're absolutely right there, and I've been. Um, there seems to have been a lot of love for Yuki here this evening, which I hadn't anticipated, but it's great to hear. Thank you. But it's not about us. What I really like about the way that you've approached the market is that you've not you've not come in trying to sell your products and services, although there is a benefit to you if the engagement works. Your approach has always been, let's try and give the support that's required, and then you get your payback long term, which I think is a really interesting approach. Um, you know, brands that come in and... and exploit it and, and make short-term gains are going to struggle i think it's that long-term engagement that's really going to pay dividends is that safe to say do you think uh, absolutely i mean look the, the the industry is you know it's it, it's incredible but it, it also will challenge you at every step of the way and you you know it will it will root that activity out and i'm glad that we you know we've started it the, the level where this was, you know, has been a journey for us to deepen our relationship. We've always banked and supported companies within the space, but really to be incredibly proactive, we've we've got much more value out of that than we, you know, we would ever have thought of. But it's been a very organic process, and you know, allowed to be that. In fact, you know, where opportunities arise, so we've been, you know, devastated. There has not been, you know, over the last year, a lot of the events and knowledge sharing that would happen um generally through the the industry through you know the, the activity that happens throughout the year so being part of you know events like this um in fact we you know we, we sponsored the the um, uk industry slack channel for the the last year just to help we and we we've, we've been very hands off with that activity because we just wanted to support the the engagement and activity that hasn't you know wouldn't be able to happen moving forward but for us it's about learning and and you know and and trying to build you know a strong relationship with the industry where we can support it by the products and services that we we offer and then to you know to our customer base as well looking to see 
is there a way that we can support that? We can see in the data that our customers are more engaged than ever in spending and engaging within games. You know, is Wonderful. And, and how do we then move that forward, which we're still working on. That's amazing. Thank you, uh, David, for your talk today. I'm delighted to announce that Matthew from David's team is going to be talking at our eSports and brands event next week. He's leading all of the eSport engagement around universities and the like. So that'll be a, a detailed talk next week, I think. From Matthew, we'll look forward to. But thank you, David. Thanks uh, a lot, everyone. <laughs>